Oil and gas reserves are among the most important energy resources on Earth, fueling global industries and economies. Their creation is a fascinating process that spans hundreds of millions of years and involves geological, chemical, and biological phenomena. These reserves are formed deep within the Earth under specific conditions, and their formation is influenced by the planet's complex geological history. We will see in this video in detail the role of organic matter in hydrocarbon formation, the foundation of oil and gas formation begins with the accumulation of organic matter, primarily from dead plants, animals, and microorganisms, such as algae and plankton. These organisms lived in oceans, lakes, and swamps millions of years ago. When they died, their remains settled at the bottom of these water bodies, forming thick layers of organic-rich sediment. These organic deposits are the primary source of hydrocarbons, the chemical compounds that make up oil and natural gas. Over time, layers of sediment and silt buried this organic material, protecting it from complete decomposition. Oxygen levels in these environments were often very low, which prevented the organic matter from rotting away completely. Instead, the material partially decayed, creating a substance known as kerogen, which is the precursor to oil and gas. Without this accumulation of organic material, the formation of oil and gas reserves would not be possible. The abundance and type of organic matter play a crucial role in determining the quantity and quality of the hydrocarbons that eventually form. The process is highly dependent on the environmental conditions at the time of deposition, making ancient ecosystems essential to hydrocarbon formation. The importance of sedimentation. Sedimentation is a critical step in the formation of oil and gas reserves. Once organic matter settles at the bottom of water, Water bodies, it becomes covered by layers of sediment, such as sand, silt, and clay. Over time, these sediments accumulate, compress, and form thick layers known as sedimentary rocks. The weight of these sediments exerts pressure on the organic-rich layers beneath, gradually compacting them. This process removes water and other impurities from the organic material, further concentrating the hydrocarbons. The sediments also act as a protective barrier, preventing oxygen from reaching the organic material and ensuring its preservation. In addition to compaction, sedimentation creates the geological structures necessary for trapping oil and gas. Reservoir rocks, typically porous sandstone or limestone, form within these sedimentary layers and provide spaces where oil and gas can accumulate. Impermeable cap rocks, such as shale, form above these reservoirs and act as seals, trapping the hydrocarbons in place. The organic-rich material is subjected to increasing heat and pressure. These conditions are critical for the transformation of kerogen into hydrocarbons. At depths of around 2,000 to 4,000 meters, temperatures range from 60 degrees Celsius to 120 degrees Celsius, creating what is known as the oil wind. Within this temperature range, the organic material undergoes a process called catagenesis. During this phase, kerogen breaks down into liquid hydrocarbons, forming crude oil. If the temperature continues to rise, usually above 120 degrees Celsius, the organic material enters the gas window. Here, the kerogen is converted into natural gas, primarily methane. At even higher temperatures, the organic matter may degrade into non-hydrocarbon gases or carbon residue, rendering it less useful as an energy resource. The amount of heat and pressure determines whether oil, gas, or both are formed. These conditions also affect the quality and type of hydrocarbons produced. For instance, higher pressures can result in lighter, more volatile hydrocarbons, while lower pressures produce heavier oils. The precise combination of heat, pressure, and time is crucial for the successful creation of oil and gas reserves. Migration of hydrocarbons. Once oil and gas are formed within source rocks, they do not remain in place. Instead, they migrate through porous rock layers until they become trapped in reservoirs. This movement, known as hydrocarbon migration, occurs due to differences in pressure and buoyancy. Oil and gas are less dense than the surrounding water in the rock pores, causing them to move upward through the rock layers. This migration can span hundreds of kilometers and take millions of years. The hydrocarbons travel through permeable rock layers until they encounter an impermeable barrier, such as shale or salt, which prevents further movement. These impermeable layers act as cap rocks, trapping the hydrocarbons and forming a reservoir. The efficiency of migration and trapping determines the size and location of oil and gas reserves. 
If the hydrocarbons fail to encounter a suitable trap, they may escape to the surface and dissipate. Migration is also influenced by geological structures, such as faults and folds, which can create ideal conditions for hydrocarbon accumulation. Understanding migration patterns is essential for locating and extracting oil and gas reserves. The formation of reservoir rocks. Reservoir rocks are a key component of oil and gas reserves. These rocks, typically sandstone or limestone, are porous and permeable, allowing them to store and transmit hydrocarbons. The formation of reservoir rocks is a result of sedimentation and diagenesis, the process by which sediments are compacted and cemented into solid rock. The porosity of reservoir rocks determines their capacity to hold hydrocarbons. High porosity rocks can store larger quantities of oil and gas, making them ideal for reservoirs. Permeability, on the other hand, affects the ease with which hydrocarbons can flow through the rock. Reservoir rocks often form in specific geological environments, such as ancient river deltas, coral reefs, and shallow marine shelves. These environments provide the right conditions for the deposition of coarse-grained sediments, which later become porous reservoir rocks. The quality of reservoir rocks is a critical factor in determining the productivity of an oil or gas field. Geologists study the porosity and permeability of these rocks to assess the potential yield of a reservoir, making them an essential focus of hydrocarbon exploration. The role of cap rocks in hydrocarbon trapping. Cap rocks are impermeable layers that seal oil and gas within reservoirs, preventing them from escaping to the surface. Common cap rocks include shale, salt, and clay which have very low permeability. These rocks form during sedimentation and create a barrier that traps hydrocarbons beneath them. Without cap rocks, hydrocarbons would continue to migrate upward until they reach the surface, where they would disperse. The presence of a strong intact cap rock is essential for the formation of economically viable oil and gas reserves. Cap rocks also play a role in determining the shape and size of reservoirs. Geological structures such as anticlines, faults, and salt domes often create natural traps where hydrocarbons carbons accumulate. Cap rocks seal these traps, ensuring the hydrocarbons remain confined. The effectiveness of a cap rock depends on its thickness, composition, and integrity. Any fractures or faults in the cap rock can compromise its ability to seal a reservoir, leading to hydrocarbon leakage. As such, cap rocks are a critical component of hydrocarbon systems and are carefully analyzed during exploration. The impact of time on hydrocarbon formation, the formation of oil and gas reserves, is a process that requires millions of years. The time factor is crucial, as it allows organic material to undergo the necessary chemical transformations under heat and pressure. Geological timescales also influence the movement and trapping of hydrocarbons. Migration pathways develop over millions of years as rock layers fold, fault, and erode. Similarly, the formation of reservoir and cap rocks occurs over extended periods, creating the conditions needed for hydrocarbon accumulation. Time also plays a role in the degradation of hydrocarbons. If conditions remain stable, hydrocarbons can remain trapped for millions of years. However, geological events such as earthquakes, volcanic activity, and erosion can disrupt reservoirs, causing hydrocarbons to leak or degrade. Understanding the role of time is essential for hydrocarbon exploration. Geologists use techniques such as radiometric dating and seismic surveys to study the geological history of potential reserves, ensuring they target areas with the highest likelihood of oil and gas accumulation. The Role of Plate Tectonics in Hydrocarbon Formation Plate tectonics significantly influence the formation and distribution of oil and gas reserves. The movement of Earth's tectonic plates creates the geological environments necessary for hydrocarbon formation, such as sedimentary basins and traps. When tectonic plates collide or diverge, they create basins where organic material can accumulate and be buried by sediments. Over millions of years, these basins experience subsidence, increasing the heat and pressure needed for hydrocarbon formation. Plate tectonics also shape the reservoirs and traps that hold oil and gas. Anticlines, salt domes, and fault traps are all products of tectonic activity. Tectonic processes can also expose or destroy hydrocarbon reserves. Uplift and erosion can breach reservoirs, allowing hydrocarbons to escape. Conversely, subsidence can bury reserves too deeply subjecting them to excessive heat and pressure, which may degrade the hydrocarbons. The influence of plate tectonics on hydrocarbon formation highlights the interconnectedness of Earth's geological processes. Without tectonic activity, the conditions needed for oil and gas reserves would not exist. The environmental conditions of ancient ecosystems, 
the environmental conditions of ancient ecosystems play a vital role in hydrocarbon formation. During periods such as the Carboniferous and Jurassic, Earth's climate and sea levels created ideal conditions for the accumulation of organic material. Warm, shallow seas and nutrient-rich waters supported abundant life, leading to massive deposits of organic matter. Low oxygen levels in these environments prevented the organic material from decomposing completely, allowing it to be preserved. The type of organic matter deposited also influences the characteristics of the hydrocarbons formed. Marine environments rich in plankton and algae produce oil, while terrestrial environments with plant material produce gas and coal. Changes in climate, sea level, and tectonic activity over geological timescales have shaped the distribution and quality of oil and gas reserves. Understanding the environmental conditions of ancient ecosystems is essential for identifying potential hydrocarbon-rich areas. Modern exploration and the science of hydrocarbon formation, advances in geology, chemistry, and technology have have revolutionized our understanding of hydrocarbon formation. Modern exploration techniques, such as seismic surveys, magnetic resonance, and satellite imaging, allow scientists to identify potential oil and gas reserves with remarkable accuracy. Geologists study the characteristics of source rocks, reservoir rocks, and cap rocks to determine the likelihood of hydrocarbon presence. They also analyze the geological history of an area, including its sedimentation patterns and tectonic activity, to assess its potential for oil and gas accumulation. The science of hydrocarbon formation continues to evolve, with researchers exploring alternative sources, such as shale gas and oil sands. Understanding the complex processes that create oil and gas reserves is essential for meeting global energy demands and transitioning to more sustainable energy sources.